Quite often in consulting, you want to show something through a waterfall graph. Unfortunately, Excel does not provide you with a short way to do that, but there is a nice workaround that I'm going to show you how to use. So please open file attached to the lecture, which is called Saturation Point Analysis Version 4. And here I will show you how to do that. In this file, we have previously estimated how many stores we can open. And in data for the slides, we've already prepared the data. So in the first one, you can see that we have the number of stores we can open and there are divided by categories of cities. So for example, in big cities, so the row 10, I can open 55. Then in medium cities, 51, in small cities, 100, and so on and so forth. The first column is the number of stores I can open. And the second column is the cumulative number of stores given previous things. So for example, in big city, it's just the number of current number of stores. But then if we go to medium city, it's current number of stores and the number of stores we can open in big cities. You'll see in a minute why we need that. And as I said, there is no straightforward way to do the waterfall graph. So we're going to use for that scattered column graph. So first we have to select the pre-prepared area. And this is what we do now. Then you go to inserts, you pick the column. And from that, you have a nice selection. We're going to use the stacked column graph. So this is this one. And as you see, we've already got the graph. To make it a little bit nicer, we're going to remove the charts table. We're going to remove the legend, so name of the series. And now, as you can see, we almost have a waterfall, but the problem is that the color is wrong. So we're going to change the color of the first column to white. So you have to press on the first column, then right click and in the fill, select white. And there you've got something which almost looks like a waterfall we would like to have. We will make it a little bit longer. And now what we have to do is remove these lines so they don't distract us. We would like to also maybe have it in blue. So we go to the fill and we change it to dark blue. Now, another thing we would like to have is to have the data labels showing the number of stores. So the things we've got in the second column. To get the data labels, you have to first click on the column, then right click the mouse, then add data labels. You press it and we've got the data labels, but they are not visible because they are dark. So we press them and we change this to the white. We can make it maybe a little bit more visible by pressing Ctrl B, so making them bold. And there you've got the waterfall graph. What we don't like, obviously, is this outline. So we also can remove that. So you have to click the chart area, right click the mouse, and then in the outline, you select no outline. Usually I would also remove the axis all on the left. So you go to the chart, click on this and press delete. And I would also make the names bold. So you press on this axis and then you press Control B and you change them into bold. In exactly the same manner you do it in PowerPoint. So to sum up, you create first the table of data that will consist of two columns. In the second column, we've got the data we want to present. So in our case, this will be the number of stores per type of city. And the second column we only use to have a support for the first data and we change them into white. And in this way, using stacked column graph, we create the waterfall effect.